Hello, I'm Seema. Welcome to my chemistry tutorial videos. In this video, we are going to solve two numerical problems on the topic Bohr's model for hydrogen atom. The first question that I have chosen is what are the frequency and wavelength of a photon which is emitted during the transition from n is equal to 5 state to n is equal to 2 state in hydrogen atom. We know that all lines that fall to the second state in the spectrum fall under the Balmer series. Anyway, the, here the initial state of the electron, the energy level was 5, the fifth energy level and the electron has moved from the fifth energy level to the second energy level. Another thing that we know about uh, before we solve the numerical part is that when an electron gains energy, it moves from a lower shell to a higher shell. But when an electron loses energy, it moves from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. And here we find that the electron is moving from the fifth energy state to the second energy state, which means that this energy is being emitted. These are just basics that we can understand. So now what is the energy of a state? The energy of an electron in a certain state the formula for it is minus Rh, which is Rydberg's constant, 1 upon n square, where n is the energy level. The value of Rh, the Rydberg's constant for hydrogen, is minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules, and we use this. So we know in this question, we have been given n, the final, uh, the initial energy state for uh, the electron is fifth energy state. And the final energy state is 2. Therefore, E, or rather we should say, yeah, E initial is the fifth energy state, and E final is the second energy state. For E initial, the states N is 5, and E final, the state is 2. How do we solve this numerical problem? To calculate delta E, we first calculate delta E because from it then we can calculate the wavelength and the frequency. The difference in energy is the difference between EF minus EI, EF minus EI and EF would be minus RH 1 upon or rather we could avoid the one upon we could directly divide this by because one is one because this is for the atomic number and since it's hydrogen the atomic number is one rh upon n square where n is five sorry two square minus and this is again a minus minus rh upon E initial is 5 square. Now to remove these negative signs as we did in the previous video, we can flip these. So if we flip these, we get, we can take RH as common. So it will be RH, we are removing, to remove these negative signs, flip it. It will be 1 upon 5 square minus 1 upon 2 square. And the value of Rh is minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules into 1 upon 5 square minus 1 upon 2 square. I hope it's visible. So what did we do? We just flipped these two in order to remove these negative signs and we got this. The value of Rh, we substituted it and we get this value. And when you solve this, the answer that you get is equal to minus 4.58 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. Since it's negative, this is the energy that's emitted. This is the energy that's given out in the transition of the electron from the fifth energy state to the second energy state. So what's the question? What are the frequency and wavelength? In order to calculate, we know energy E is equal to H nu. Therefore, delta E should also be equal to H nu. 
and therefore nu should be equal to nu should be therefore be equal to delta e upon h isn't it so what would nu be frequency would be delta e upon h and delta e we have just calculated and what is Planck's constant? This would be equal to minus 4.58 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules divided by the value of H is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second. Now the joule and joule will cancel out. So second inverse is Hertz. So we'll get the unit for frequency. And when we solve the numerical part, how much would the frequency be equal to? the frequency would be equal to here we are not interested in the negative value because the frequency cannot be negative and we energy was negative so here we take it as this so this would be equal to 6.91 into 10 to the power 14 second inverse or hertz second inverse or the hertz is the frequency uh, is the unit for frequency so we have calculated nu. That is the frequency. The next part of the question is that what is the wavelength for this? We know c is equal to nu lambda. c is the speed of light and therefore lambda would be equal to c by nu and we are interested in finding out lambda. So lambda is equal to c by nu and c is new we have just now calculated and the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second and frequency was 6.91 into 10 to the power 14 second inverse the second inverse and second inverse will get cancelled and you'll get the wavelength in meters and what would this be equal to it would be equal to but if you calculate the zeros and all this we can calculate it in nanometers also. So 434 nanometers. What's a nanometer? It is 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So this it could be 434 into 10 to the power minus 9 or 4.34 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters if you write it in meters. So this was question 1. The next question now is that you have to calculate the energy associated with the first orbit of He positive. What is the radius of this orbit? So you have to calculate the energy first and then the radius of the orbit. And the atom now is not hydrogen, it is helium positive, isoelectronic. But what comes into the formula now? The value of Z, Z, that is the atomic number. So how do the formula change? We know energy En is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules. And here we have 1 upon n squared. This 1 is because of the atomic number of hydrogen is 1. This should be z upon n squared. So into z z squared upon n squared per atom is the energy. So He positive, helium positive, what does it have? He positive has the value of Z for helium is 2 and the value of N given to us is 1. It is the first orbit. So N is 1 and Z is 2. So substitute the values. En would be equal to minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules upon 1 square into z square is 2 square so per atom therefore this would be how much joules would it be how many joules would it be it would be equal to if you calculate this this comes to be minus 8.72 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules is the energy the cal the energy associated with the first orbit of he positive i would be this much now the question is what is the radius of this orbit? We know the formula for radius of an orbit for hydrogen is a naught n square. But if you have to take as the attraction of the nucleus increases, the number of protons in the nucleus increases, the orbit becomes smaller. So we have to take into consideration the number of 
protons. Therefore, we divide it by Z. And now the formula is this and calculate it. The value of A0 is 52.9 picometers. Is 52.9 picometers into N square upon Z. The value of N is 1. So 52.9 picometers into value of N is 1 square upon Z is 2. Therefore, this would be equal to 26.45 picometers is the radius. So 26.45 picometers would be the radius. And if we calculate it in nanometers, a picometer is 10 to the power minus 12 of a meter. And nanometer is 10 to the power minus 9. So if you calculate this in nanometers, it will be 0 0.02645 nanometers meters right and if you have to convert it into meters you remember the unit conversion factors that we did in one of the previous videos use those and you can convert the units and if the question the answer has been asked in a certain unit you can convert it take care of the significant figures too when you find out the answer so these were two numerical problems on the Bohr's model for hydrogen atom we will do more numerical problems in a later video and then we we'll proceed to the quantum mechanical model of an atom. Thank you for watching. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel at the bottom and visit me for more videos on chemistry. Thank you.